everyone! Today we're going to be doing the braid that we showed in her room makeover video and I will put a link to that if you haven't seen it yet. But I'm going to start by making a side part here on the top of her head and then I'm parting down from the back of that to her ear. With the rest of this hair I'm just going to bring it over to the other side and put it into a side ponytail. Alright, I have all of her hair in a side ponytail and now I'm going to take this hair in the front and split it basically in half. Before you start braiding this top section, you may want to spray it down with some water or add some gel just so that you don't have flyaways popping out all the way down. I'm going to be making a feather braid with this and so I'm splitting it into three strands and I'm going to begin braiding and I'm going to be removing a little piece from this bottom strand before I bring it over the middle every time. And I am taking out very small sections so that I don't run out of hair. I'm just going to repeat this until I get the braid long enough that I can add it into the ponytail that I made at the bottom. Okay, I've braided this down to the point where it's long enough that I could add it into this ponytail, so I'm just going to take it and tie it off for now. Now I'm going to grab this other section of hair that we left out, it's just right here underneath this braid, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm making another feather braid, except for this time I'm going to be leaving out the strand on the top. So this strand here that's on the left, I'm taking out a small piece of it before I cross it over the middle. So it really is the same thing, you're just removing a piece of hair from a different strand. And again, I'm just going to repeat this all the way over to the ponytail. If you run out of hair to pull out before you get to the end of where you need to be, you can just add a regular braid a few inches, it's really not going to make a huge difference. So again, I'm just going to tie this off. Okay, now that I have both of those braids done, I'm going to take this one on the top and actually add it into this ponytail. And to do that, I'm just taking a tiny elastic, just putting it right over the top. Now for the fun part, I'm going to take these strands and braid them together. So I'm going to grab one strand here from the braid on the top and two from the bottom for the three strands and I'm just going to begin a regular braid. And then as I'm coming across, I'm going to be adding in a strand from the top and the bottom each time. So this is basically like a French braid, you're just using tiny strands. And I'm trying to keep this braid pretty much in the middle just so that there's an even amount of space on each side of it. Unless you actually counted the strands that you were taking out each time, you're probably going to end up with an uneven amount, meaning that I'll probably run out of strands either on the top or the bottom before I get to the end of this braid. If that is the case, just keep braiding in the strands you have left. It's really not going to be noticeable. So now that I've added in all of these strands, for this last piece I'm going to bring in this entire braid. And then I'm just going to take this and kind of wrap it around the top of there and tie it off. And I'm going to be making a fishtail braid. So I'm splitting this in half. I'm taking a small strand from the right piece and I'm crossing it over to the left and then I'm taking a small strand from the outside of the left and I'm crossing it over to the right and I am just going to repeat that all the way to the bottom. You really don't need to worry about what it looks like here on top, we're going to be covering that up. Alright, I've made a fishtail braid and I've tied it off here at the bottom. I'm going to take this elastic wrap it around one more time and not pull the ends all the way through. So I'm leaving a little loop out like that. So now I'm going to take this end, fold it over, and start rolling this braid up. 
basically like a little seashell. And then I'm going to pin it into place. I'm just pinning along the outside edge. And then since her hair is on the longer side, I don't want the middle of this to pop out. So I'm adding another bobby pin right there in the middle. And then she's got a few ends that are poking out right here. I'm just gonna kind of stick those back in and add one more. If you don't like how this braid on the top is laying, this one's sitting kind of low for my liking, you can always take it and kind of spread it out and then just add a bobby pin right along the side of it and that should hold it out a little bit more.